Hello, this is Socially Triggered, and this video is going to be on the recent event at Walmart where a couple was wearing uh, masks, and they had a very interesting symbol on them. And there was a, a huge outrage uh, that happened because of this uh, event. And I kind of wanted to play the clip, and then I'm going to give you my feedback on what really happened and the media spin on it. And, you know, I'm going to try to break it down a bit for you. So I'm going to play that video. I'm going to just switch over here. So here's the video. And let's just play that for you. The American and wear that mask. You cannot. We literally had a war about this. Okay, this video is making its way around the country tonight. And it was shot right here in a Walmart in Marshall, Minnesota. We've confirmed through police and a Walmart manager that a couple entered the Walmart wearing face masks with Nazi swastikas on them just before noon today. In the video, other customers announced their disgust over the masks. The woman in the video says back to one of them, quote, if you vote for Biden, you're going to be in Nazi Germany, end quote. Police were called. They tell us that they issued notices of trespassing to the 64-year-old woman and 59-year-old man. It's basically a warning at the request of Walmart. And police say the pair were cooperative and left the store. The video has nearly a million views on multiple social media platforms as of right now. And we did receive an emailed statement from Walmart tonight that reads, quote, what happened today at our store in Marshall, Minnesota is unacceptable. We strive to provide a safe and comfortable shopping environment for all our customers and will not tolerate any form of discrimination or harassment in any aspect of our business. It goes on to say we're asking to wear face coverings when they enter our stores for their safety and the safety of others. And it's unfortunate that some individuals have taken this pandemic as an opportunity to create a distressing situation for customers and associates in our store, end quote. Okay, so uh, that, I thought that was kind of a funny clip. Um, so it was very interesting. So they're wearing these masks. And um, the media, Walmart also, uh, and social media even, uh, the way they interpreted it was these evil Nazis are going to Walmart to shop. Like, you know, because you know how Nazis are. They like to wear their little Nazi uh, symbols on their face. <laughs> like that always happens. Uh, and so you get this situation where the media is spinning this story that these two uh, Nazis are going shopping, but that's not the case. Uh, you'll also hear, because one of them's wearing a Trump uh, shirt, that obviously Trump is a Nazi. <laughs> you know, they, they make the connection uh, because these, these, these two Nazis are wearing uh, his, you know, make, you know, make America great or Trump shirt and wearing the Nazi uh, masks. Well, this gets easily debunked uh, because the woman says, if you vote for Biden, uh, this is, you know, this Nazi symbol will be what is America is like. Because what she's really saying is the, the Democrats are the ones that are pushing these kind of fascist uh, things onto the American people because they're pushing the fact that we, we, we have to wear masks, that we're mandated to wear masks, that we don't even have the choice whether or not we want to wear masks or not. That, uh, you know, if you, and if you go against the narrative, they destroy you. They do everything they can to misinterpret what you're actually doing. And that's, you know, what they were doing. This couple was obviously making a political statement saying that wearing of masks is kind of like Nazi Germany. It's literally what the Nazis did. <laughs> if you look at Nazi Germany, uh, what did they do? They forced people who were Jewish to wear stars. If they were gay, they would wear like a pink triangle. Uh, you know, they would have symbols that they would put onto people. And they would force people to wear certain clothing to identify themselves. Well, wearing a mask is forced wearing of clothing. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's no science that has been put out that has really, you know, 100% said this, uh, these masks are the only way 
that we can protect ourselves against the coronavirus. There's just no science backing it. Actually, it was very whimsical that they they chose to move ahead with this kind of forced wearing of masks. I mean, up till you know March, April, they were saying that wearing masks actually would be a bad thing. You know, <laughs> uh, and this is based not on just this one outbreak. This is based on multiple outbreaks where they they looked at masks in the past. There were studies that were done prior to the current pandemic, and they said that during you know this research, they discovered that really masks offer no protection against the virus and in some ways can help transmit the virus because of the fact that what happens is uh, the masks act as sort of like a conduit for things to sort of stick to. And um, a lot of the time people are just inhaling those things that are being stuck to this mask. Like if you, if you cough or if you, um, if there's like anything within the air, uh, it's going to get stuck on that mask, and then that person's going to be inhaling it. Uh, also, uh, another thing that happens when people wear masks, because you'll say, okay, well, if everyone wears masks, uh, what's going to happen? Well, then, you know, the ma masks do act as a barrier. They definitely act as a barrier if you have the infection and you're coughing and you're trying to, you're spreading it, right? It does act as a barrier. It reduces the ability to spread the virus. However, <laughs> there's a caveat to this. However, what happens is most people, when they wear masks, they end up touching the mask. And it's, it's, it's human nature that if you have a mask on and if you wear it for any length of time, it, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's restricting your breathing. It is just naturally uncomfortable. You'll, you'll see, like watch people and they're always like fidgeting with the masks because they're uncomfortable. And what does that mean? So what happens is people who, let's say they have the virus and they touch the mask, well, their, their hands are now contaminated. That contamination gets, you know, they touch stuff and that stuff uh, gets contaminated with the virus. Another thing that happens is other people that don't have the virus, <laughs> uh, they touch those things and then they touch the mask and, you know, there's all this stuff where these masks are basically getting contaminated with viruses. And then basically you're inhaling that contamination over and over again. And most people don't even bother changing the mask. If they're really strict, if they're really, really strict and honest about this whole mask thing, what we should be doing is not wearing masks at all. We should be wearing hazmat suits because um, the analogy that I heard with masks in terms of protecting people is like a, like a chain link fence. Uh, and if you have like a chain link fence and you want to prevent mosquitoes from coming into your area, into your yard, well, that's what you have with a mask. It, it, it's basically, <laughs> it's no protection against mosquitoes. Well, for the comparison really does apply for the mask. I mean, the the holes that are inside a mask are so large compared to the size of a virus that they can just permeate right through the mask. They, they really, there's no real protection that's provided by the mask. If they really are sincere, you know, uh, we should all be wearing hazmat suits. And I don't want that. <laughs> I'm not saying we should do that. You, know, you never know. They might encourage that next. But, you know, you, you see all this token wearing of masks where people are wearing scarves. They're wearing like, you know, it's just... It's obvious that this is not going to actually prevent anything. A lot of the time, it just it's just for show, and we know it's for show, but we do it. It's it's just, and that's what drives me crazy. So um, obviously, this couple <laughs> was was trying to make a political stance against the wearing of masks, and what do what does the media do? It tries to spin the narrative that these people are racists or something in order to shut down the conversation, to shut down what they were actually trying to do. And the fact is, not only is the media doing this, because was, I got this video from a, uh, from a news station, but the, you know, Walmart itself basically locked these people out of the store for, for a year. 
you know, you're not allowed to have your freedom of speech. This is freedom of speech, really, what they did. Um, you know, that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. So um, this has been my thoughts on it, and I tried to break it down a bit for you. Uh, but um, it's pretty scary what's happening right now. And um, we either have, we have to choose our path in society. Are we going to allow uh, this to continue? where we, we lose our sense of freedom? Or are we going to stand up and say, hey, maybe our freedom is worth more than uh, the potential risk that we are taking? That it's better to live free and potentially die than to be bubble wrapped and have no sense of freedom. So. This has been Socially Triggered. Please give me your feedback. Please give me your comments. Please watch my other videos. And thanks for watching.